back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel thank you for your love and for your support if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell on the side to get an update also whenever i upload a new video okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to sew external back loops so you can see our dress this is like our top bodies for our back so this is the neckline so this is our dart lines so i'll show you guys how to add external loops to the back of a dress so that's just literally what we're going to do so if you want if you find this video helpful please hit on the like button i would appreciate if you would do that and then you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish ninja if you want to register for my online classes also you can just see my number scrolling through the screen send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of all of the classes we have available okay now nice, guys so let's get started so the first thing i'm going to do now so like i said i already have my dart lines so i'm going to cut this um, um around my dart line just a little bit so you can see it it is entering into like the neckline area which is okay so you need to cut it open in order to be able to create loops on it so i'll open this up like this it is a simple process so i'll open this up like this and then I will number them. Let me not go and show the wrong thing. So I have one, one. So this one is for this. And then this is two and two. Okay. So I'm going to turn it. It is a simple process. I'm going to turn this for you to see. So this is, so I have, I cutted out long straps. So this long strap i'm going to so this long strap i'm going to cut it so it depends on how long i want it to be so i don't want it to be too long so i'm going to cut it like three three inches so it will be able to sit nicely here so i have about three inches so i'm just going to cut all of the pieces like this until i have enough so you can just teach you can use bias if you don't want to so just get a long um, fabric and then just stitch it. So you can actually use eyelets for this, but this I'm using loops. So that's why I'm doing this video. I've done the one of an eyelet before. So I just keep cutting. So I'm going to count what I have now. I'm just trying to place them to make sure. So I think I'll do I'll just do like seven, seven, one, two, three. So this is perfect. So I just have my seven seven pieces here. So this is what I'm going to go and do. I'll take this back to my machine. So I want the loops to stay like this. You understand? That is at the end of the day, I want my loops to be on this side. So what I'm going to do, I'll take them, I'll place them like this. So after stitching, it's going to come like this. So I hope you understand. I don't want my loops are not going to stay like this. They're going to stay on this side like this. So this is what I am going to, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're going to stitch now. So this is the center piece. So this is around where we're going to be sewing the loops 
on this side and then on this side so i'm going to mark them so i just want to make sure that i have that i'm stitching on the same equal point like this so i'm going to add about six about six loops each okay so i'm going to show you how we are going to let's just keep this one on the side how we're going to add the loops so this one is those this one on this side so my loops are going to face like this for this one it's going to face like this why for this one it's going to face it's going to come inside like this so you can see what we have so i'll just leave this let's work on this one first so the easy way to do this is for us to place the loops first before we join them together so this is our zipper allowance so i'm just going to keep this on the side and then i'm going to start and um, like stitching these ones on top so i'll adjust my machine and then start stitching I'm just going to, I'll just be putting them, let it face, can see so i've added this now so i'm going to join them together now that's i'll join it back to the neckline point so i'll start stitching it from down so it will be easier it will be much easier for me that way to actually start stitching it up now so we'll see what we have so you can see my loops how they are standing okay so after stitching you open it up like this so i'm going to give it a good press and then my neckline i'm going to redefine my neckline so you see how it's staying so you can decide to run do a top stitch here you can decide to do that or you just iron iron it down for this so the neckline i'm going to trim it back nicely it is a, actually deep and back neckline so the second one on this other side i'm going to do the second one so i'll use this as a guide just like i explained earlier you know the first one was facing this way so this one is going to face like this so i'm going to start and placing them just on the the part where i marked so I, i'm just trying to make sure that you can see what i'm doing
so I'm going to join them back together. Okay, so I'm just going to finish that up. I need to change. Okay, so at the end of the day, so you can see what I have. So I'm going to take it back to my ironing table. I'll iron it and then I would just turn with my lining, just my regular turning. I'll turn the neckline and then I'll iron it and then bring it back and show you the final look of how it is looking. Okay guys, so at the end of the day, so you can see how our external back loops is looking like. So you see the center and that's where your zip will be. You've just fixed your zip at the back and then you can still snatch your waist with the loops. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel already, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe. Thank you so much. I will see you in my next video. Bye.